Hey everybody, it's AJ from alphapixel.net and today I have a set of freebie scripts for you guys that takes the filter tab here, this undockable filter tab, and makes it dockable. I'm one of those people that likes to have everything accessible, although this is kind of the default layout so you don't actually see that but um, my typical layout has everything all laid out and accessible. I don't like to dig through menus and find things. I like it all to just be there, ready to click. So I don't know why it is, it's super easy, but I really get annoyed by going into this filter tab here and selecting things, when instead I would just like it docked up here, just something I could just quick click. Like if I did want to, for example, hide the grid, I would just click grid and it would be gone. Just quick and easy. The nice thing about having it dockable is that you can also customize it. So you can go up to Window Customize, Customize Commands, and hit Edit Palettes, and get rid of any of these that you're not using. So like, there's a lot of these I wouldn't use. I wouldn't use Axis, I wouldn't use this, I wouldn't use any of that. I would use Camera, Deformer, generators so I can get rid of a ton of these and just only have the ones that I use the most this for example and then you can go ahead and just dock it up here and close that and now you just have a pared down list of your display objects you can still hit hide display none or display all and you'll also see that they are highlighted. So if they're off, they're highlighted. And I did that just so, you know, when they're on, it's not this annoying row of highlighted words. So I made it so that when it's hidden, it's highlighted. So you know what's off and you can easily turn it back on. And this highlighting is new to R20 for scripts. And I'll show you that in a second. But say I did want to hide the polygons, there you go particles there it is the lights you can hide your splines oh. your deformers generators which will include both cloner and primitive objects and um, let's see joints and there you go and you can even hide the grid so I'd say those are the ones I use the most and I can just dock those right up here and easily click them and not have to dig into the menu here and you'll see they are all the ones that are unchecked are the ones that are highlighted here but I can go ahead and display all and turn them all back on and the way you get this palette is so you'll download the scripts and you'll install these scripts into your scripts folder and then you can come into the customize here and it will come with a little layout because I already have it pre-laid out for you in a palette. Just say load palette and find the, the palette file there and it will come as you saw it when the, in that big long list there. And then you can just get rid of the ones you don't want and then resave out the palette and even just save it into your setup if you want to. So as I mentioned, the, the highlighting of scripts is new in R20, which is perfect for these because it just gives you a little indicator of what's hidden and what's not. But there is one thing to note, and that is, so this new function state, or this new state function here in the script, even if you're not uh, doing any scripting, this is kind of something important to know if you are gonna be using these, this state, function is within cinema it's kind of always listening which means that it is doing running some calculations just listening to see if it's active or inactive or if I click this button or this button it it wants to know when things are on and off so because it's doing all those calculations there is a possibility that you'd notice you know a very slight viewport performance although I honestly haven't seen it but just to note that if you do run into that if you are noticing any kind of like viewport performance um, I have another set of these scripts for R20 and below that don't utilize this state function and will definitely not at all impact 
anything to do with viewport performance. But again, I haven't noticed it at all. You might notice something, and if you do, just go ahead and switch that over. The only thing is that you don't get access to the highlighting of the scripts. So it, they will all just stay gray like this instead of highlighting. So I'm just cutting in really quick to actually show you the install very quickly. Um, I realized in the tutorial before that I just went over it verbally and it might not have been very clear. So um, I'm just going to show you right now. And so I'm just going to pull over the folder here. This will be the folder that you download and open. It's going to have these two versions here. So this version, the highlighted version, is the one I talked about where, where all of the icons are able to be highlighted when you click them. And that will only work in R20 and above. And the other one is, will actually work in any version of Cinema. And that's the one where the icons don't get highlighted. They'll all stay that gray color. So depending on which version you're going to install, you can, if you just click in, they're both actually exactly, they look exactly the same when you click into both of them. They are both have all of the um, filters named the same. So what you're going to want to do is just hit either go up to edit preferences or hit control E, which I like to do. And you're just going to open the preferences folder, go into the library folder and into the scripts folder here. And that's where you'll drop the folder with all of the scripts in it. And then once you have that in there, you can go back to the library folder and under layout. And actually, if you don't see the layout folder, it might not, I don't believe it's there by default, but um, to either get that, you can just create the folder yourself, or if you just go up to Window, Customize, Save Layout As, it will automatically, at that point, create the folder for you. You don't even have to save the layout. You can just hit Cancel, but the folder will be there now. So then when that folder is there, you just go into Library Layout, and you can drop your palette into that folder. And then once you restart Cinema, you just drop down the layout and it will show up here as display filter. And you'll and once you click that, it will open up a menu with all of the scripts listed in it. And if there and if you have any further questions on that, feel free to ask in the comments of on either the website or on YouTube here. I included a little help doc with the folder as well. So back to the end of the tutorial. I made this kind of mostly for myself and I just thought I would share it. So if you guys find a dockable filter list useful, go ahead and head over to the website and download that. And also let me know if you do um, run into any performance issues using the R20 scripts versus the R19 scripts. Anyway, that's the freebie for today. And so head on over to the site and give them a download and let me know if you guys are finding them useful. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you guys in the next video.